20 victories and we're off here. I will tell you my predictions for this fight. Don't blink. Another don't blink. Matheus Malta kind of going at Eduardo Castro. Eduardo Castro quick. Flying knee and a punch now. A uh, good kick there. Clinching. Eduardo Castro wants to get away from Malta. Malta with the obviously jiu-jitsu tattoo on his back kind of tells you that he wants to go in close. And he's a jiu-jitsu black belt, Mateus Malta. He has fought for the title in Shuto in the past. So we have one guy that wants to stand up and one guy that can't stand up but wants to go to the ground. Yeah, Eduardo Castro is slippery. It's hard to take him down, to take the control. He's doing a, a good job, both are. And these guys are looking really quick. I'm doing a good job with pressure here as well. Eduardo Castro just trying to get his back away from the fence. Eduardo Castro with two underhooks. He wants to get Malta's back to the fence, right? Just wants to get out of there. He's blocking very well. His defense is pretty good. Because Malta wanting to take down. Nice. Nice. Really well done. Castro with the guillotine. Just holding on to this guillotine. But Mateus Malta's out. Now he has two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes to, to work his ground game. the Castro closing this guard trying to hold on or try to go for an arm or something but just remember that Mateus Malta is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt with Castro moving his hip to attack the armbar Castro doing the best he can just to kind of hold on and block himself from getting uh, hit with that arm. And he's up like that hip. Malta with a little bit of ground and pound while Castro trying to find an opening to get some kind of finish. He's climbing with those legs, coming with the hips, cutting close the triangle, right back to closed guard. Not easy to get one of those on a black belt, but not impossible, obviously. The advantage for Malta, but Eduardo Castro is moving around, showing signs that he could be dangerous. The kick from below. Malta right back inside that closed guard. Thirty seconds left here in round one. Eduardo Castro. Goes right back to, well, more of a half guard now. Malta mounts. He's going to rain down a few punches in these last less than 10 seconds now. Throws elbows. 
Could have gone for the arm, but that's it for. He's looking good. He's going after it. He's smelling blood. Smelling blood like a shark, man. And like we said, 20 years old and a huge record. I mean, nine yeah. wins, three losses for the 20-year-old. That's in, in MMA. Yeah. It's a lot, man. It's yeah. a lot. And then in Muay Thai, 21 fights, 20 wins. I mean, he started fighting when he, when he was in diapers. 13 years old, yeah. probably. <laughs> Malta goes for the takedown, gets the takedown, but there's a guillotine from a half guard from Eduardo Castro. He's trying to finish Malta with his uh, forearm on Castro's neck, just to try to get a bit of distance. He wants to get out of there. Castro's obviously uh, putting a lot of energy out there to get this finish, but Malta's out. Yeah, this is good for Malta. Uh-oh! Ooh, he was setting up for that arm, yeah, but... he moved his hips very well. Look, he could try, if he can get that Castro leg out there, get a I triangle. can't believe it. But the arm's already out of there. Malta should be able to get out. The arms. Malta's a black belt, man. You can tell. That head kick at the beginning of the, the round makes a lot of difference. You know, he's not 100% yet. I mean, Malta's not 100% yet, but he's still working his ground game, his jiu-jitsu. Man, Castro had all the chance at the beginning of the round. And he smelled blood. He was trying to get a knockout, but now yeah. we're in Malta territory. Yeah. And we have two and a half minutes. That's a lot it's of time. It's a lot, yeah. Especially in this situation when they're in the mount. And here, Malta gets to relax to a certain point a little bit. Not relax, but... He has time to recover a little bit. Yeah. Full, you know, recover his gas, you know. And work the hammer, work the armbar. You know. But he's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Well, he has to take this advantage because the beginning of the second round was uh, not favorable to him. He's gonna try to go. Well, I thought he was gonna try to go for a kata kata. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Eduardo Castro just trying to hold on to not have any distance, but uh, that's all favorable to Malta. He's just trying to survive. Less than a minute and a half left in round two. Eduardo just continues to try to hold on. He's not trying to reverse the position. Needs to be careful with those arms. Eduardo needs to be careful with those arms. Yeah, definitely. I'm here in Malta's corner, he's like, uh, punch him, get, get some punches in the ribs. We're gonna use the fence now. Nice job by Malta. Take him away for the fence. There you go with those punches on the ribs that the corner was asking for. You're gonna attack that arm right now. That was nice, a nice attempt at the arm. Eduardo Castro needs to survive for five more seconds. And he's able to get it out of there and he'll throw some punches. Round two is over. But anyways, we're off here with round three. Jumping kick right to the, uh, jumping knee right to the kick, uh, to the, <laughs> to the chin of Malta. And Eduardo Castro needs to keep this fight on their feet. I think 
Yeah, the Amalta, maybe another flying knee and then a good follow-up right to the face of Malta, but Malta is still in there. Castro is doing the right strategy, you know, keep the fight on distance, use the leg kicks, you know, the body kicks and the high kicks, getting his point, but he has the time against him. He has to do all or nothing in three and a half minutes. And that all or nothing has to be standing, because if Malta gets him down again, Malta will control it, most likely. There's Eduardo Castro connecting. A lot of attempted flying knees. That's in round three. <laughs> yeah, man. Once again, Eduardo Castro, he's, this is his game, but he needs to do something big. Yeah, if he wants to win this fight, he has to do more than this. Okay, he goes from southpaw to orthodox, yeah. consistent, constantly training, uh, changing. He doesn't stop. I think it's the first kick for Malta here in round three. What a good shot from Castro. is a very different type of fighter on his feet both fighters are kind of cut up a little bit bloody but Malta looks a little worse yeah it's I was thinking about it how is the MMA man see Malta won two rounds he's winning this fight in my opinion and like we say in Brazil translate for me please ele tá ganhando a luta mas perdendo a briga he's uh, winning the fight but he's losing the war kind yeah. of like that kind of like that. he's winning the battle but he's losing the war that's probably the best translation and he looks a Malta looks like he's just He's been through a war, but he's on top. And look at Castro, man. This His face looks, you know, destroy a lot of damage. And, uh, and Malta's face. And Castro's face looks fresh. You know? <laughs> oh, some good punches here by Malta. And if I look at both of these guys after the weight cut, you know, they, they cut weight for yesterday, but Malta's definitely bigger than, than they go out of the Costa, heavier. Yeah. Not too much, but it's his body style. Oh, the last 10 seconds. Interesting. And now Malta's calling him on, and that is it. After three rounds, the judges have scored. 29-28, Matheus. 29-28, Eduardo. And 29-28 by the winner. Uh, split decision, Matheus Malta!